Welcome to another segment of Training Videos from the House, brought to you by Stickmen University. This video will demonstrate the steps on how to safely move a grand style piano. We will look at the specialized equipment you will need to move a grand style piano. Let's look at the types of grand style pianos. A baby grand piano is short but wide and around 5.5 feet in length and requires three or more people to move this type of piano. A grand piano is short but wide and anywhere from six to seven feet in length. Three to four people can move this type of piano. A concert grand piano is short and wide, usually nine feet long, and will need four or more people on this piano move. Now let's look at the equipment you will need to safely move the pianos. A piano board, piano straps, toolbox, moving pads, stretch wrap, ratchet straps, four-wheel dolly, hump strap, forearm forklift. A rubber mallet might also be helpful to remove the legs on a grand style piano. Your CSR should clarify the style of piano the customer is moving while scheduling the job. The piano will be one of the last items moved. You should make sure you have wall space on the truck to secure the piano, preferably over the rear wheels. To begin, remove the bench so that you can then remove the pedals from the piano. Remove any surrounding items that may get in the way of moving the piano. Next, check inside the piano for any loose items and move the piano to an open area. Cover the top of the piano with at least three moving pads. Use stretch wrap to secure the pads to the piano. Position the piano board so when the leg is removed, it will rest on the board. While two of the movers position themselves under the front right corner supporting the weight, the third mover slides under the piano and removes the bolts holding the leg. Use safety precautions before loosening the bolts on the piano leg. If necessary, place a temporary brace, such as a sawhorse, under the piano that will help support the weight while the bolts are being loosened. Then, the third mover comes out from under the piano. While one mover holds the weight of the right corner, remove the leg. The rubber mallet may be used to gently tap the leg if necessary. The two remaining movers position themselves on each corner of the piano. You should have your strongest mover at the back of the piano because most of the weight and stress will go to that back leg. The three movers will then lower the piano down to the piano board, trying to position it as close to the edge as possible. Do not let the piano rest in this position for an extended period of time as it puts unnecessary pressure on the remaining legs. Once positioned on the piano board, remove the remaining two legs making sure to keep track of the correct order of the legs. Set the legs aside for now. It's now time to pad wrap the bottom of the piano. One mover should always have their hand on the piano to ensure it doesn't tip over. Make sure to tuck in the pads and cover all remaining surfaces of the piano. Secure the piano to the piano board with two ratchet straps. Make sure the ratchet is positioned toward the bottom of the piano. This will ensure that when you tighten the strap, you don't leave any imprints on the top of the piano. Now, pad and wrap the legs and pedals and set them aside. To move the piano, you can either use the four-wheel dolly or the appliance dolly. Either way is acceptable and can be done safely. To use the appliance dolly, get straps under the piano. This is where the forearm forklift comes in handy. Get one strap under each end of the piano. Next, grab the appliance dolly making sure to unlock the straps first. Lay the appliance dolly flat next to the piano. Two movers will then position themselves and lift the piano using the forearm forklift straps, while the other mover slides the appliance dolly under the piano. Place the appliance dolly straps around the piano. Make sure to tighten the straps around the piano. Two movers will lift on the dolly end, and one mover will guide the piano upwards. You are now ready to move using the appliance dolly onto the truck. Another option is to use the four-wheel dolly. Position one mover on the key end of the piano and two movers on the kidney end. The two movers on the kidney end will lift up, while the third mover ensures the piano doesn't slide. The third mover is also responsible for placing the four-wheel dolly under the piano board. The piano can be secured to the dolly by using the piano straps. The piano is now secured to the four-wheel dolly and can be rolled as necessary using the proper floor protection. You can keep the dolly attached to the piano if you have one to three steps to go up or down on the move. More than that, and it's recommended you use the appliance dolly to move the piano. Once out of the house, use at least three men to move it up the ramp. 
If the truck has a lift gate, use that feature. Moving the kidney end up the ramp first, utilize the hump strap to initially lift and pull the piano up the ramp. One mover is now pushing the piano up the ramp while another mover is pulling, and the third mover is balancing the piano alongside the ramp. Once in the truck, position the piano over the rear wheels and secure it with a minimum of two ratchet straps to the side of the truck. To move the piano into the new location, follow the same steps, only in reverse order. This brings us to the conclusion of moving a grand style piano. For more information, please contact Training and Development at training at twomen.com.